for downtown. You can see we've got some interesting clouds out there. Some light starting to break through a little bit more. Things have pretty much dried up around Polk County, though still looking at some pockets in there where we could be seeing some moderate to heavy rainfall. 72 degrees and continuing to work with right now just light winds, but of course around some of those thunderstorms, possibly looking at some much stronger winds. The good news is that the day gets much calmer as we continue. So again, by 7 a.m., I think we're mostly just going to be looking at cloudy skies around central Iowa, wrapping things up with those severe thunderstorms and then continuing to clear out through the rest of today. Now, remember all that moisture from yesterday. It's fueled these storms along with all that heat yesterday, a daytime high of 91 degrees. Today will be just a touch cooler in the upper 80s for most spots, but definitely still working with plenty of moisture out there and not too much wind to break it up. We do have a severe risk for this evening, but that's primarily down to the south of I-80 in the green there. That's a marginal risk that just brushes up against some of our most southerly counties. I'm not expecting to see anything as dramatic as what we've been working with this morning, but that could easily change. So let's go ahead and look at how those storms are tracking out at this point. Again, we'll get rid of all of that stormy weather for this morning as we continue into the afternoon, clearing skies out and keeping things pretty calm for your Wednesday. You can see those storms approaching from the west. They're going to kind of scoot on through and dip on down to the south as we head into the evening hours. Thursday starting calm, but then Thursday evening into Friday. That's when things get a little bit shaky. Once again, this is going to be our next round of possible severe weather again with storms moving from the north through the state with possible isolated thunderstorms traveling through as we head into early Friday morning, continuing to keep some of those around and then some light showers tracking through as we head into the early evening hours of Friday down to the south of I-80. Again, still some time for that track to change today. We're still tracking those morning thunderstorms, keeping things muggy upper 80s overnight much calmer conditions as we head into your Thursday, but still working with partly cloudy skies and temperatures that are going to be above normal. Again, all this heat, all of this moisture, it fuels these storms. We're going to wrap up thunderstorms for today as we continue through this morning. We do have a chance for some of those storms as we head toward the later evening hours and then into your Friday, and we are going to continue to watch uh, as we run the risk for some of those storms into next week with a calm weekend ahead of us so far, looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 80s and taking one last look at what we're seeing as far as uh, our warning and everything of that nature. Again, we can go ahead and take this full screen if we want to. Uh, Clark, Madison, Union and Warren, Warren counties all still running that severe risk this morning. The severe thunderstorm warning in place till 615. We're looking at that rainfall rate. Some of those heavy spots are just east of Creston. Again, this is continuing to track to the east pretty slowly. Looking at, uh, again, um, a rate of speed of just about mm, 20 to 30 miles per hour or so. So if we track this out, you can see that it's likely going to be hitting toward Osceola within the next 20 minutes or so, 15 to 20 minutes. So be prepared for some of those changes as we continue through the rest of this morning and seek shelter if you are on track to see some of these storms.